we know that's part of our job as a National Guard. When we're, when we're called upon. We have currently, we have 16 sites. We're, we're ramping up. Currently, we have about 500 National Guardsmen and women um, on duty uh, supporting sites across the state. Uh, this is our first downstate uh, location, but it won't be our last. We're, we started kind of in the Cook County area because of the population center. And uh, we started small, and we've continued to grow and ramp up as we bring in and do training for our soldiers and airmen to make sure that they have the experience needed to go start uh, to support around the, uh, around the state. So we'll see more uh, coming down state and near days, and, and we'll ramp up over a thousand guardsmen and women supporting this vaccination mission. Well, the East Side uh, Health Department will be standing up uh, location in the next couple days, right? So that's coming. Uh, we'll probably see something around the Carbondale area in the near future. Uh, Sangamon County will be standing up. I hear DeKalb might be standing up some locations. So there's more and more that are coming on the line. Again, the Illinois Department of Public Health is working closely with the county health departments to see where the need is. And then we prioritize. There's only so many National Guards men and women to go around. So we're uh, we're very sensitive to the fact of trying to get to those high priority areas that, that have the need for uh, some capacity as we move along. And that's what we're doing right now. We're identified, we identified uh, some mass locations because that's the easiest to do is move into a mass location and set up and, and run kind of a, almost a circus type of a, an event here, right? And, and pull in uh, all the personnel that we need to uh, get things going. But what we see is that we know that you know, uh, Southern Illinois, Central Illinois, have a lot of rural communities and they may have only one or two people in their health department. And so they need help. And so as we start to understand uh, and build capacity, uh, bringing more guards, uh, men and women on, uh, we'll set up mobile test site uh, teams that will be able to actually move out to those areas, work with the local county uh, health department to identify the uh, areas that we need to go to and we'll, we'll work on that in the future. That's our future goal. Today, the National Guard, whether in Illinois or any other state, is the busiest as we've ever been. Yeah. And uh, we haven't seen cri this many crises piled on top of each other. Uh, but I'm very proud of the, the capacity that our soldiers and airmen uh, have provided through, throughout uh, each of these crises. They've, they've always answered the call. Uh, they're there um, to dig in. And particularly, they're very proud of helping their communities. It's one thing to deploy overseas and support your nation, but when you know your neighbors are hurting, uh, they want to step in and help, so they're very proud of that.